The NHL is about to get interesting as I've gone ahead and downloaded a custom roster that wrecked the entire NHL as a whole and added in a bunch of different people and characters such as Hollywood stars, NFL players, basketball players, other sports icons, boxers, wrestlers, literally has everything, TV characters. The league has basically been flipped upside down and we are going to go ahead and simulate and see what results we get over a five-year simulation. But first, we have to go ahead and take a look at the league at the moment. Let's go ahead and take a look at the entire roster of the NHL. Now, if we take a look at the Anaheim Ducks, they have a much different roster. Kenny Wu is going to be their best player at a 99. Actually, they have a lot of 99s. They are going to be rocking with the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. Gordon Bombay is going to be playing instead of coaching. They're going to be rocking with the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. Gordon Bombay is going to be playing, not coaching. Fulton Reed is here. Dean Portman is there. Adam Banks, Timu Solani, Charlie Conway is on the roster. If we take a look at their goalie, they do have John Gibson, but also Julie Gaffney. I'm kind of surprised I'm not seeing Goldberg here, honestly. Now for the Arizona Coyotes, they're going to be rocking with Chris Paul at a 99 overall CP0 rings. Kevin Durant's on the roster. Luca is here. Charles Barkley. Brittany Griner finally got home safe, and now she's going to be playing for the Coyotes. Steve Nash is here, who actually was a big hockey guy. Best player in the NBA, Nikola Jokic is here. Giannis, Devin Booker, Chris Chelios is on the roster. Who's their starting goalie here? They're going with Dominic Hasek at a 93 overall now for the boston bruins they are gonna have john wick on their roster also the man the myth the legend mr connor mcgregor yeah stupid little bleeding heck yeah you'll do fucking nothing not one of you'll do nothing they're also gonna have david pasternak here a lot of these other guys i don't know who they are so i apologize if for any reason throughout this entire roster i have no idea who some of these players are because that could be a big possibility megan the stallion is gonna be the best player on the buffalo sabers we also have Jay-Z, P. Diddy is here, Tupac is on the team, Jack Harlow is here. Oh my god, this roster is literally bananas. We take a look at their starting goalie, it's going to be none other than Biggie Smalls, baby. 99 overall. For the Flames, they're going to have Brian O'Connor on the team, Dominic Toretto, so he doesn't have friends, he has family. Shaw is here, Hobbs is on the roster. <laughs> Shout out to Jeremy Roenick also being on the Flames and their goalie is going to be none other than Han Lu, who I believe is from the Fast and Furious franchise. Carolina is going to have Princess Daisy, Princess Peach. Oh my God, Luigi's on the roster, Donkey Kong, Mario. Also, your mom's a ho, Sebastian Aho. They're going to have Bowser as their starting goalie in the net. Chicago is going to be rocking with AI, Allen Iverson. Steph Curry is there. Jimmy Butler, who is the son of Michael Jordan. Lonzo Ball is on the team. Lonzo, no. Please come back soon, brother. Scotty Pippen is here. Kawhi Leonard, Dennis Rodman. Of course, MJ had to be here as well as Ja Wick. And Glenn Hall will be their starting goalie at a 93 overall. Moving along here, the Colorado Avalanche, we're going to have Paul Pierce. Jason Tatum is here. Larry Bird is on Colorado. I don't know why he's not on Boston. Bill Russell, Kevin Garnett, Bo Cruz. From the movie that Adam Sandler was in, he's an absolute legend. James Harden is here. LaMelo Ball as well. Shout out to Melo. Gotta get healthy soon, brother. Terry Sawchuk's gonna be starting goalie at a 94. Columbus is gonna have a lot of players that I have no idea who these guys are. Maybe you guys know. Yori, Ares, Flynn, Tron, C. Lou, and Zeus as their starting goalie. I don't know if they're Greek gods, maybe? Now for the Dallas Stars, I guess they're gonna be a WWE team as they have Rhea Ripley, Cody Rhodes, who I believe just won the WWE Championship last night. I could be wrong. Randy Orton is here. Edge, who is no longer in the company. Shawn Michaels, Triple H, John Cena, Brock Lesnar. And their starting goalie is going to be Jake Ottinger at a 90 overall. Red Wings are going to have Ray Skywalker, Luke Skywalker, Kylo Ren will be on the team. So this must be a Star Wars theme team. And in goal, they have Darth Vader at a 99 overall. They're going to be using the force to try to win Detroit a Stanley Cup. Florida is going to have The Undertaker, Kane, Booker T, Becky Lynch, Seth Rollins, Hulk Hogan is going to be here. Here, the absolute racist that he is. The Rock is on the team. Dave Batista, Roman Reigns. 
And in goal, they're going to have Roberto Luongo, Bobby Lou, baby, at a 91 overall. LA is going to have Bronny James at a 99 overall. Anthony Davis is going to be there. Gianna Bryant, Kurt Rambis, Shaquille O'Neal, Kareem, Magic Johnson, LeBron, and Kobe are all going to be on the roster. I'm very excited to see how LA does. And they're going to have Patrick Waugh in the net. Curry Sully. I don't know who any of these people are. Spider. Who the hell is Spider? Johnny Damon. I don't know any of these. David Ortiz, I believe, played on the Boston baseball team. Believe his nickname was Big Poppy. Yes or not? Nah. Mark McGuire is here. Jackie Robinson is on the roster as well. Now for the Nashville Predators. I don't know who Robert Taylor is or Sam Kerr, but I do know who Lionel Messi is as well as Cristiano Ronaldo. They also have been Mbappe. And in goal, they're going with Linus Allmark at a 90 overall. Moving along, Harley Quinn is going to be the best player on the New Jersey Devils. Loki is here. Lex Luthor. Joker is on the roster as well as Peacemaker. Rangers are going to have Mike Trout. Also, Alex Rodriguez, Mickey Mantle, Joe A. Otani will also be on the Rangers, which is very funny considering he plays in L.A. Derek Jeter is here, Barry Bonds, Aaron Judge, and in goal, they have Mike Piazza as their starting goalie at a 99. Now, I swear to God, I did not put him in the roster. I have no idea how he made it here, but the Ottawa Senators are going to have Shorzy as their best player at a 99 overall. They will also have Goodleaf on the roster as well as 10 inch cock well technically his name is ted hitchcock but if you say it fast it sounds like 10 inch cock xavier laflemme is also here doug glad probably the best fighter in history outside of shorzy mario lemieux is on the roster and in goal they are going to be rocking with arc michaels and I believe their coach will be Sanguinette. The Philadelphia Flyers are going to have Deanna Prince. Also, Barry Allen will be on the roster. Dick Grayson is here. So some of the DC Universe. Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent also are going to be 99s on this team. The Pittsburgh Penguins are going to have Natasha Romanoff, who I believe is Black Widow. They're also going to have Stephen Strange. Almighty Thor will be on the roster. Tony Stark and Steve Rogers. So we have some of the Avengers. San Jose is going to have Easy e Eminem, Machine Gun Kelly, Suge Knight, Cardi B, Snoop Dogg, Ice Cube, who I literally just saw a concert not that long ago. Not going to lie, Ice Cube was the first or the best concert to go to. That dude brought the heat start to finish. Also, shout out to the Doc. Dr. Dr. Dre, and in goal with her big butt and all, Nicki Minaj is the starting goalie. Seattle's gonna have Johnny Cage, also Hitman Agent, so Agent 47 will, the Seattle Kraken are gonna be rocking with Agent 47, I don't know why it says Hitman Agent, I meant, now for the Seattle Kraken, they are gonna be rocking with Agent 47, also Laura Croft. St. Louis is gonna be rocking with Chad Ochocinco, who is a famous NFL player, also has a podcast with Shannon Sharp. Aaron Rodgers is also on the team, as well as Travis Kelsey, Patrick Mahomes. Unfortunately, I do not see Tom Brady, so that must confirm that Patrick Mahomes is the GOAT of the NFL. And in goal, they're going to be rocking with Johnny Bauer at a 92 overall. Tampa Bay is going to be rocking with Gronk as their best player at a 99. Aaron Donald is on the roster. Wes Welker is there. Randy Moss. Tom Brady is also here. Obviously, he's going to be a 99. I mean, he's the current GOAT of the league. For the Toronto so Maple Leafs, I guess they went with a full Walking Dead theme team. King Ezekiel is going to be here. Morgan Jones, Maggie Ree, Carl Grimes, Michonne, Daryl Dixon, of course, Rick Grimes, who's always doing stuff and things. Negan is here. Also, Matthews will still be on the roster. And in goal, their starting goalie is going to be Glenn Ree, who you already know is going to be giving it to Maggie the entire time. Now, it would have been hilarious if the backup could have been Lucille, considering that she did end up beating Glenn Ree to death. Familiar with anybody on the roster, honestly, so somebody fill me in on who these guys are. But they will have Martin Brodeur as their their starting goalie at a 94. Now for Vegas, they're going to have Mr. Beast on the roster as their best player. Also PewDiePie. Nasher is here. Jake Paul and Logan Ball. Shout out to Tactics HD. He'll be here as well. Sleeveless Gaming is here. Jack Eichel will still be on the roster. And in goal, they're going to be rocking with Thrash as their starting goalie. Washington is going to have Kratos as their best player. Obviously, he's the god of war. Nathan Drake is here. Loki, who is a solid snake guy. I have no idea who Ellie is, but I'm going to assume she's from The Last of Us. And in goal, they are going to have Joel Miller as their starting goalie. Man, Joel... At least it's not a hockey stick that you got beat to death with. It was a golf club. And finally, for the last team, the Winnipeg Jets are going to have a full Spider-Man theme team. 
Miles Morales is here. Gwen Stacy, Toby, Bully Maguire, Mary Jane Watson, Zendaya is on the roster as well for some reason. And in goal, they're going to be rocking with a 99 overall Venom as their starting goalie. So now that we went ahead and took a look at the entire NHL, now it's completely different. I'm going to go ahead and simulate for five full seasons, and we are going to see who goes on and wins the awards. And of course, wins the Stanley Cup as well. Now, if you guys do enjoy videos like this, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, we literally just dropped our merch. Link is in the description. I will also put it in the comments. If you join my Discord, it's there as well. Go check it out. We have t-shirts and hoodies at the moment. I'm very excited to finally have my own merch. It's a very cool thing to see on. I'm very excited to have my own merch available for you guys to purchase on my website. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? Subscribe right now as we march along to 20,000 subs. We're so close at the moment. We're like 3,000 away, I believe. Now, at the end of the very first season, Edmonton will go on and be the best team in the regular season, obviously going 51, 26, and 5, followed by the Colorado Avalanche. Anaheim was very good, the Mighty Ducks. Washington was up there, Buffalo, Ottawa, and Winnipeg. At the bottom, we have the Vegas Golden Knights. Chicago's down there, Montreal. Montreal, Calgary, and Detroit. See what I mean? EA has their teams already planned. They have totally different rosters right now. And yet we still see Montreal, Calgary, and Chicago being at the bottom. Also, I'm probably not going to be able to remember who is on every team. Mary Jane Watson is going to lead the entire NHL in scoring with 115 points, followed by Tupac. He's there. P. Diddy is on there with 108. Martinez had 108. Fulton Reed, 105. CP3. Fulton Reed had 105. CP0 Rings has 103. Charlie Conway was up there. If we take a look at the goals... Tupac is going to lead with 66, followed by Chad Ochocinco. Xavier Laflemme was up there with 57. Negan had 53. ZE had a 50-goal season himself. Antonio Brown, who was on the St. Louis Blues, I missed that. He had a 50-goal season also. If we take a look at defensemen, Mary Jane is going to lead with 115, followed by Martinez is 108. Fulton Reed had 105. For goalies, Ron Weasley is going to lead in wins with 45, followed by Joel Miller, who had 40. Glenn Ree had 38. And on the shutout side, Bowser is going to tie. It's a three-way tie between Weasley, Glenn Hall, and Bowser, all having four apiece. And this is our playoff matchups in year number one. So let's go ahead and simulate to see who makes the Stanley Cup finals and in the stanley cup finals we have the colorado avalanche up against the boston bruins i have no idea who's on either roster but we will check that out before we go ahead and see who's going to end up winning the stanley cup at the end of season number one i did know boston had john wick and connor mcgregor on their roster now for the colorado avalanche they're going to have a bunch of NBA players like Jason Tatum, Paul Pierce, Larry Bird, Bill Russell, Kevin Garnett, James Harden, LaMelo Ball. And the NBA players are going to get it done here in year number one as the Colorado Avalanche will go on and take home the Stanley Cup, beating Boston in game seven of the finals, even though they had a 3-0 lead. They lost three straight games, but luckily clutched it up here in game seven as Conor McGregor is mad, mate, as he's not going to be able to raise the Stanley Cup here in season number one. Now for the con Smythe, it's going to go to KG, Kevin Garnett, two goals, 27 apples for 29 points in the postseason. A very good stat line by him. Anything is possible, as he once famously said before he won a championship himself, but none like this before. There it is, the Stanley Cup about to be raised to the Avs, as here comes their captain. Number six, I believe, is Bill Russell, the captain of the Colorado Avalanche, coming to win another championship. He has 11 rings in his career, and here is number 12, now in the NHL. Now for the playoffs, John Wick is going to end up leading and scoring with 31 points. Followed by Trahan, who I have no idea who that is. Kevin Garnett did obviously have 29 points. He won the Conn Smythe. Bo Cruz was up there. Jason Tatum. Paul Pierce had a good playoff run. Harry Jane is going to take home the Ted Lindsay, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy, while the Maurice Richard would go to Tupac. The Norris again to Mary Jane Watson. The Con Smythe to Kevin Garnett. The Vesna will actually somehow go to Connor Ingram, of all people. And the Selkie Trophy will end up going to the guy who you cannot see, John Cena. I got to be honest, this has got to be the most bananas video I've ever done. I mean, just the amount of characters we have in this simulation 
animation makes it fun and refreshing but also off the wall crazy and already we see the nba players taking over let's see who's gonna go on and dominate next so at the end of the second season the detroit red wings are gonna go on and be the best team winning 51 games followed by the seattle kraken new jersey was good anaheim washington and st louis no sign of the defending champs in the colorado avalanche here at the bottom we have the boston bruins who literally made the stanley cup finals last season minnesota was bad ottawa san jose chicago Gordon Bombay is going to end up leading everybody in scoring with 111 points, followed by Kevin Garnett, who did have 109. Han Solo had 106. Bill Russell was up there. Scottie Pippen had a very good season, riding the coattails of MJ. Seth Rollins had 102 points. Luka had 102. I don't know about that. Luka might be putting up monster numbers in the NHL, just like he is in the NBA. Also, shout out Shawn Michaels, HBK, the Heartbreak Kid. Now, if we take a look at the goals, Xavier Laflemme is going to dominate 61 on the season. Followed by Chad Ochocinco, who had 55. Seth Rollins, 53. Anthony Street Close Davis had 52. Defensively, KG is going to lead all D-men in scoring, followed by Bill Russell, Scotty Pippen was there, Fulton Reed, and Shawn Michaels all having over 100 points on the season. Darth Vader and Trevor Phillips are going to tie for the most wins out of any goaltender with 45. All by Carnage, he was up there as well as Dominic Hasek on the shutout side. Carnage is going to end up leading with four on the season. And here we go yet again. These are our playoff matchups of season number two. So let's see who goes on. And in the Stanley Cup Finals, we have the Dallas Stars up against the New Jersey Devils. Now for the Dallas Stars, obviously they are basically a W WWE team with Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton, Edge, Shawn Michaels, Triple H is there, Steve Austin. And for the New Jersey Devils, let's take a look at their roster here. They're going to be rocking with Harley Quinn, Loki, Lex Luthor, Peacemaker as well. And the Devils are going to go on and get it done here in season number two as they defeat the Stars in six games. They were up 3-0 in the series, so it was pretty dominant, I'd say. Obviously, Loki, the Joker, Lex Luthor, and also Peacemaker are all on the roster. As Harley Quinn is going to end up taking home the Conn Smythe, 8 goals and 28 points for her. So I guess technically she would be the very first female to win the Conn Smythe. And there it is, the Stanley Cup about to be presented to the New Jersey Devils for the first time in a long time. As here comes their captain, number 7. I don't know who this is. It might be Loki, honestly. I don't think, actually it's the Joker for some, why the hell is this, whoa. Why does the Joker look like that with long hair and a beard and zero face paint? Regardless, shout out to the Devils for taking home the Stanley Cup at the end of year number two. You now, conveniently enough, Cody Rhodes, who did just win the title last night, is going to end up leading the NHL in scoring. He also had 12 goals, but 31 points leading everybody, followed by Loki and Joker, who both had 30. Stone Cold had 29. Rhea Ripley, 29. Harley Quinn was up there. Shawn Michaels had 28. Gordon Bombay is going to take home the title. Lindsay, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy. LaFlemme is going to win the Maurice Richard. The Norris to KG. The Conn Smythe, of course, will go to Harley Quinn. The Vesna to Joel Miller. And the Selkie is going to go to Dave Batista, who is a former WWE star, now a movie star. Now at the end of the third season, the Anaheim Ducks, the mighty Anaheim Ducks, are going to go on and be the best team in the regular season, going 51, 24, and 7. Followed by the Anaheim Ducks. New Jersey was very good. Detroit, Washington, and Boston were all up there at the bottom we have la dallas nashville calgary and chicago i mean dallas should have a good team i don't know why they're down there at second last but i guess that's just the way it goes sometimes in ea sports is simulation johnny cage and fulton reed are gonna tie for the most points in the nhl this season at 114 like griffey jr who had 113 martinez had 112 easy e was up there at 110 scotty pippen had a good season as well as cp zero rings also, shout out to The Undertaker, only six goals, but 99 apples. Speaking of goals, Laflemme is going to lead with 64, followed by Cage is 60, Easy e at 59, Randy Moss at 56, Seth Rollins 55, 50 Cent was up there with 53. Fulton Reed is going to lead all D-man in scoring with 114, followed by Martinez is 112, Scotty Pippen was up there, CP3, Undertaker, Steve Nash, Dooley Gaffney is going to lead in wins with 44, followed by Dominic Hasek's 43, 
three. Darth Vader had 40. Now, if we take a look at the shutouts, Domino is going to have the most at five out of any goaltender in the entire league this season. Again, this is our playoff matchups in the playoff bracket for year number three. And in the Stanley Cup finals, we have a very weird matchup between the Arizona Coyotes and the Detroit Red Wings. Arizona has guys like CP3, KD, Luka, Charles Barkley, Brittany Griner on the roster. And the Red Wings do have Kylo Ren, Han Solo, Luke Skywalker. So a lot of Star Wars people on this team. And somehow the Arizona Coyotes have actually gone on and won the Stanley Cup for the very first time in their franchise's history. Of course, they are loaded with basketball talent like Charles Barkley, Kevin Durant, well, I believe Luca is on the roster as well. He might be, he might not be. I know CP0 Rings was there. I know that for a fact. As the Con Smythe is going to end up going to Chris Paul or Cliff Paul. Eight goals and 39 points for him. Not only now is he a champion, but he's also a playoff MVP. As the Stanley Cup can finally be raised in the state of Arizona for the very first time ever. I honestly never thought this would ever happen. But here we are in a different NHL universe. The captain of the Coyotes, number 13. Who is that going to be? I can't really see. I think it's Steve Nash. Steve Nash, the captain of the Coyotes, is going to raise the Stanley Cup for the very first time in franchise history. Now for the playoffs, CP3 is going to finish with the most points at 39, followed by Lucas, 31, also 13 goals. D. Book had 30. Luke Skywalker had 29. Kevin Durant was up there, as well as Steve Nash and Giannis Antetokounmpo. Fulton Reed is going to take home the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy. The Art Ross will go to Cage and the Maurice Richard to La Flemme. Now the Norris is also going to go to Fulton Reed. CP1 Ring is actually going to end up winning the Conn Smythe Trophy. The Silovs guy is going to end up winning the Vesna and the Selkie again is going to go to John Cena. Now, yet again, the Edmonton Oilers are going to end up finishing as the best team in the regular season, winning 52 games, followed by the Boston Bruins. Anaheim was up there, Philly, Winnipeg, and Dallas. At the bottom, we have Vegas, Nashville, and San Jose. Fulton Reed, again, is going to lead everybody in scoring, this time with 112 points. Followed by Griffey Jr. had 109, Laflemme 108, Mendoza had 102, Loki was up there, Dean Portman had 102, and Mbappe had a very big season. Now, if we take a look at the goals, Laflemme is going to dominate with 71. Ramirez had 59. Brock Lesnar was up there with 56. Tupac had a good season. Defenseman, obviously, Reed's going to lead with 112. Loki was up there. Portman, Hamilton. Trevor Lawrence had 99 on the season, also 21 goals. Weasley's going to lead every goaltender and wins with 41, followed by Metamorpho, who had 41 also. Weasley's going to have the most wins by goalie with 44, followed by Metamorpho. Morpho, who had 41. Venom was also up there with 38. If we take a look at the shutouts, Biggie Smalls and Alexander Georgiev. Now, these are our playoff matchups in year number four. And in the Stanley Cup Finals, we have the St. Louis Blues up against the New York Rangers. St. Louis are going to have guys like Chad Ochocinco, Aaron Rodgers is there, Travis Kelsey, Trevor Lawrence, Patrick Mahomes. And for the Rangers, they're going to have a lot of baseball legends like Mike Trout, Alex Rodriguez, Mickey Mantle is there, Shohei Otani, Barry Bonds, Aaron Judge. So we have football versus baseball in the Stanley Cup Finals. And the St. Louis Blues are going to get it done and go on and win the Stanley Cup here in year number four. As they are going to get it done over the Rangers in I believe six games in the Stanley Cup Finals. As Team Football has beaten Team Baseball in the hockey playoffs as Trevor Lawrence is going to be the Conn Smythe winner. Seven goals and 30 points for him. As again, for the second time since 2019, the St. Louis Blues are going to be able to raise the Stanley Cup, this time on home ice, as they did end up winning it in Boston in 19, I believe. Here's their captain, number four. I have no idea who that is, but congratulations to the St. Louis Blues for getting it done. Mickey Mantle is going to lead the playoffs in scoring. Actually, him and Trevor Lawrence are going to tie at 30 points apiece. Ocho Cinco had 27. Aaron Judge, 27. Kelsey was up there, 27. Barry Bonds had 12 goals and 25 points. Fulton Reed is going to take on the Ted Lindsay, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy. Also, I believe the Norris Trophy, while the Maurice Richard will go to Xavier Laflemme. Trevor Lawrence is going to win the Conn Smythe. Malcolm Subban, the Vesna, and the Selkie again is going to go to John Cena. Now, for our final season, the Montreal Canadiens are going to end up being the best team in the NHL, followed by Colorado, Seattle was good, Dallas, Toronto, and Washington. If we take a look at the bottom, 
We do have the Florida Panthers, the Vegas Golden Knights, and the Rangers, who literally just made the Stanley Cup Finals. I feel like the loser in the Finals the very next season have to be like a top or bottom five team. Spider is going to lead everybody in points with 114, followed by P. Diddy, who had 112. Rick Grimes had 111. The ultimate leader of all leaders. Brock Lesnar had 110. Daryl Dixon was up there. Fulton Reed has always been good. Zendaya had 105. Now, if we take a look at the goals, Randy Moss is going to lead with 61, followed by Cage is 57. Ocho Cinco had 56. Lesnar, 54. And Easy E, 53. For defensemen, obviously Spider. The D men have really dominated this simulation, at least points wise. I mean, look at this. We got like 10, 12 guys putting up over 100 points in a single season. Trevor Phillips is going to have the most wins by a goalie. The most shutouts will also go. It's actually going to be like a four way tie between Trevor, Glenn Ree, Mark Michaels and Carnage, they all had three shutouts apiece. And this is our fifth and final playoff bracket of the video, so let's see who makes the Stanley Cup Finals. And in the finals, we have the Edmonton Oilers up against the Detroit Red Wings in the Stanley Cup Finals, so this could be a very interesting matchup. Obviously, the Oilers do have a bunch of guys that I have no idea who they are. They do have Conor David on their team still, which is a plus. So I'm going to be rooting for them. Now for the Red Wings, they are a full-on Star Wars roster. So let's see who's going to go on and take home the fifth and final Stanley Cup. And the Star Wars team and the Detroit Red Wings are going to get it done here in year number five. As we have Luke Skywalker, Kylo Ren, all the Skywalkers. I believe they have Darth Vader in the net as well. They are going to go on and take home the Stanley Cup. I believe they did make a prior Stanley Cup Finals, but ultimately they ended up losing. But, I mean, luckily for them, they got the job done here as Obi-Wan Kenobi is going to win the con Smythe six goals and I think like 37 points, something like that. Now they are going to end up raising the Stanley Cup on home ice, which is a plus in front of all their fans as the Detroit Red Wings are back to winning Stanley Cups for the first time since basically all their core players retired back in like when was it 2015 I believe was when Zetterberg and Datsuk were like yeah we're out of here now regardless shout out to the Red Wings for winning the Stanley Cup now, Professor Snap or Snappy, I have no idea who this guy is. He's going to have the most points in the playoffs at 28. Kenobi at 27. Harry Potter had 26. The Skywalkers were up there. Brock Lesnar had a very good playoff run, 17 goals and 24 points. Rick Grimes is going to take on the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy. The Art Ross went to Spider and Randy Moss, the Maurice Richard. The Norris is going to go to Terrific. The Consumite, of course, to Kenobi. The Vesna to Merz Lincolns. And the Selkie is going to go to P. Diddy. And that is going to do it for this video boys if you enjoyed it make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel we have gone ahead and completely wrecked the entire nhl added a bunch of like movie characters other sports players just famous people in general a lot of randoms made the league and it was all because of this guy shout out to him for making this roster i cannot imagine how long this took to make even the celebrations were customized so a big shout out to him without him the video would not be possible let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, don't be silly. Wrap your willy.